Hi there guys, this is Chris Coney speaking and welcome back. Now in this lesson, we're going to explore a more advanced part of the trading interface, which is called market depth. Most exchanges visualize market depth by displaying something called a depth chart. Now on Binance, this is actually hidden away behind this tab that says depth on it. If you click on that, this is what you will see. And most exchanges have this, so you should be able to find it somewhere in the interface. What we are looking at now is a very unique way of visualizing the current state of the order book. So this is the market depth for BTC USD. Along the bottom of the chart, we have the price increasing from left to right. Then along the side, you have the amount increasing from bottom to top. So this is kind of what it would look like if you took the order book and just turned it on its side. It's now easier to see the spread as well because that's just the gap in the middle between the two sides. Now, as the depth chart changes, what we are seeing is this tug of war between buyers on the left and sellers on the right. And then the price is kind of like the middle of the rope in the tug of war. So sellers, they are wanting to pull the price up so they basically get more dollars when they sell their Bitcoin and the buyers are wanting to pull the price down to the left so they get more Bitcoin for their dollars. The spread is kind of like the pit in the middle of a tug of war and you want to pull the other side into the pit. So the depth chart is the only easy way to see where the big walls are. So the depth chart kind of looks like two mountains facing each other and a, a wall, a buy wall or a sell wall is the prices where we see these kind of cliffs. The cliffs signify a large amount of orders at that particular price level. Now for the price to go beyond that, well, it needs to break through that wall with an equal amount of opposing force. So a big sell wall means the price is unlikely to go any higher than that until the uh, sellers either cancel their orders or if enough buyers come in to fulfill those orders. Remember though that it's not enough to simply equal the sell wall because there are all these other orders in front defending it and those orders are going to get filled first since they're at lower prices before we even get to the sell wall. Therefore, the depth chart is another way to quickly identify areas of support and resistance although in real time, whereas on the charts, on the price chart, we're looking historically at support and resistance. The depth chart gives us it in real time and it changes in real time. Now, one final point to remember is that the depth chart can only display limit orders that have been placed on the books for everyone to see. At any moment, someone could place a market order out of nowhere. And there are also any number of stop limit orders which are hidden and waiting for specific prices before they trigger and automatically place a new limit order. There's nothing really we can do about that except be aware that those hidden forces are out there and uh, they can reveal themselves at any time. So like we covered in the lesson on uh, market orders, if I placed a huge market order right now to say buy a hundred Bitcoin, it would tear through this whole section of the sell order book uh, up to a quantity of 100. And I can use the scale on the left to get an idea of how far such, an, uh, such a market order would push the price up by. Again, you may or may not use the depth chart, but it just feels better to understand something than not to. So that is all for this lesson. Until the next one, it's me, Chris Coney saying, bye for now.